Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn for March. So this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, something, uh, something to do with the infinity symbol, okay? Because I just, I just noticed what I was doing here. I've been twirling this thing, and. Uh, You know, so I don't know what is going on. There's like an endless energy. This is, that's also, when you see the infinity sign, it's like the time is up as well. Time's up. Also, um, consequences of the deed. Infinite effects. So you may be dealing with some sort of consequences of something that you did. And I don't know if it's good or bad because not consequences is just a word, but I think that it could be good or bad. Also, if you were to get a bunch of eights, you know, or the infinity signs, that is limitless abundance, okay? Balance and abundance. Um, so yeah, something to do with the infinity symbol. And if you want to know more, look it up. But as far as I'm concerned, it's 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 eternity, or it's an endless love, or it's endless energy, or it's consequences. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes back around. Okay, what goes around comes back around. So keep that in mind. Okay, so so something may be coming back around in March. Something, you know, I don't know. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Something coming back around in March. So let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Right after this. Well, no, I don't know about right after, but soon after. I am going to do your your Capricorn six months from now. Now, if you're in a happily ever after relation, relationship and you got a new baby at home and life is good, you probably don't need a tarot reading. So, what do we got for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Moment of decision. A decision is about to be made. A big one. Because it was the Two of Wands that made me say that. So, it's like you're at this crossroads, right? And you've got two paths. It's, you're at that Y. You're at that Y in the road. And um, you have to choose which way is going to be the best option. Which way is going to lead you to where you want to go. Which path do you want to take? Do you want to go down this road or do you want to go down that road? You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. You're, okay, you're at that Y. You're, you're standing right here. Okay? Okay? At the end of this road is something that could make you very happy. Probably love. Okay? And at the end of this road is uh, independence, your money, your home, you know, the, ro the, the, the way you've been living, right? You may be comfortable going down this path. You've always went down this road. It looks like it's a beaten path. You've been going down this road. This road is uh, more worn. You can tell that it's worn, but you got this new, now you have, now you, you must have, something must have come full circle because now you're at the, you're at the, the decision point again. Okay. So now, now it's like, shit, you know, you've always gone that way. You've always done this, but now, oh my God, down there, it's like, it's blossoming, right? You see where it's, it's, it's blossoming. It's like, it's beautiful. What are you going to do? What do you get? It's, it's calling your name too. It's something inside of you saying, go down that road, go down that road, go down that road. You know, you want to go down that road. So you're going to be making a choice. Balance 11. Now this I would is obviously the justice card. This is a card of karma. Remember when I said, what goes around comes around. <laughs> now, this is justice. Okay, it says balance, but it is actually the justice card. We also see the number 11. So, I'm wondering, when I see 11, it's a 1-1, one, one, right? It's 1-1, one, one, and 1 plus 1 equals 2, which equals a partnership. So, something to do with a partnership and something to do with karma. So, I do believe that this month is going to be a very karmic month for you. This is the laws of karma. Um, that is coming around and now and in okay justice is about a decision kind of like the two of wands so you're going to definitely have to make a decision 
Now, this card, the Justice in particular, is... Uh, Well, it says balance, but it, we, I don't know why it doesn't say justice. I wish that it did. I wish that it did because it feels, I mean, the laws of karma, the laws of justice is about doing the right thing. It's about doing the right thing for yourself. It's about being honest with yourself, being truthful with yourself. Now, you know, this kind of looks like the magician to me, even though it's the justice card. It does look like the magician. It's like you have all the resources you need to be successful, but you got to make sure that you are making the right choice and that you are acting with integrity and you are doing the right thing for everybody involved, including yourself. You matter. You matter. And when you get this card, the justice card, it says just be honest. Just be honest and upfront. Karma or justice, the justice system has no toleration for lies. None. None. So if... Just put that in your back pocket. So if you are lying to yourself, you know, there's consequences for that. So, you know, I don't know. There's something to do with consequences. And there's something about making a choice, making a decision that is fair and just. Fair and, fair and just. Probably mostly for you and, and everybody else involved. Um... Now, there could have been a a decision that was made, you know, and everything has turned out fair and just, but you may not see it as such. So just keep that in mind. Could be dealing with a Libra. What do we have? It's about karma. So, yes, it is going to be a karmic month. For what else, what else do we have for Capricorn? One card, please. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. So this is about love. And I could see love at the end of the other road. But you have to choose love. And this is a choice. Justice is a choice. Okay, so you have to choose it. So turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect in a time when you experienced love. And you know, justice is about getting what you deserve. And this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So this is getting what you deserve. So somebody may be getting an opportunity that is beautiful that they deserve. But opening your heart, it could be a little iffy. So what do we have for Capricorn? Oh, jeez. Ain't that a good way to start things off? I'm going to shut this computer. The tower, the tower reverses extremes, okay? There could be a fight, there's a loss, could be a permanent loss. Painful changes that you never saw coming. So that is the overall energy of March. There could be a permanent loss. Everything has turned out as it should. And you may have to accept, okay? You may have to accept a loss. Maybe it's, you know, there. it was fair and just and... You need to uh, release it. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is change. This is positive change. This is destiny and karma. You got some karma here. You are dealing with some karma this month. Definitely. But things are about to get changed for the better because the Wheel of Fortune is good luck and it is changing for the better. You may be in the right place at the right time and something fortunate happens. This could be a fortunate accident that is exactly what that is that is exactly what that is okay this is a fortunate accident and i'm sorry but that is what this is so i don't know if it's gonna focus in there we go it's like things something went up in flames but yeah, something went up in flames. Something didn't work out. Something crumbled. Something didn't last. It was false. It was superficial. It wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. It fell apart, right? That's what happened. But now something better is coming. Coming. Consider it a blessing because you got something really good here. If this hasn't happened, you could, you could, I mean, this is like a serendipity thing, okay? You could be at the right place at the right time. Um, hmm. 
this is positive change after after some sort of uh, explosion or crumble, collapse, breakdown, fall. Okay. Things upheaval, chaos. Yeah, it's been big too. You, it's, it's, and it was unavoidable. It really was unavoidable. A painful something painful has happened, but there is some sort of positive outcome. Okay, there was a cycle that needed to end. It whatever this was that was false was it needed to go. Now something positive is coming, and it. But yeah, it's, it is definitely painful. It's, it's, this is definitely this is heartache, sorrow, grieving, mourning, mourning a loss. So there's a lot of sadness here because something has drastic. This is a drastic change. So whether you've already went through it or you're going through it now, and maybe that's why you need to allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love because this is difficult this is painful you're going through a painful life change but this i mean you think about the justice card this is meant to be this is the right decision okay it may not seem it but it is something to do with karma and destiny here i don't know what that was seven of wands challenges your challenge somebody is you know guarding protecting not wanting to let anybody in the hermit just wanting to be alone i just need to be alone we have we're having somebody here that is feeling very lonely and sad and rejected maybe going through a midlife crisis uh, maybe may dealing with a little bit of paranoia here, you know, feeling like they're really feeling defensive, like I need to protect myself to a, a high degree because somebody has been through a painful, uh, chaotic, uh, maybe it's a nervous breakdown. I don't know what it, it could be a nervous breakdown. They've had something drastic. It's been a major, drastic is happening or has happened. That has caused a lot of pain. And now we have somebody that is guarded and maybe unaware. Maybe unaware. May have been or maybe they have been protecting themselves from getting hurt again and don't want to open the door to anybody else. But now there's all kinds of options here. So it's like we have somebody here that is standing at the door warding people off. It's like no, 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 no. You know, but it's time to get out and socialize when you get the hero font revert. Yeah, did I say hero font? I did, but I meant to say hermit. Hermit. So um, it's time to socialize. Perhaps it's time to re reconnect. It's time to come out of hiding. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been protecting themselves because of perhaps a rejection. You know, some sort of rejection that uh, was very painful. Okay, and it's it's permanent, you know, it's it's realizing, I mean, this is a permanent loss. So I feel like, yeah, that we have somebody here that is uh, refusing to budge, refusing to, you know, let their guard down, uh, feeling like they need to protect themselves, but there's something coming to the, into this person's life that could bring them out of stagnation, bring them out of hiding, I think there's there's some sort of um, somebody has been watching or there's some sort of observation. Somebody is very curious. Um, somebody is probably going to receive a message that that, uh, you know, maybe it's it causes a little bit of inner conflict. There could be a spy here. Somebody could be spying. They could be spying on you or you could be spying on them. Interested, curious. So we do have somebody here that is curious and you may not be aware of it. You may not be aware of it, Capricorn, or this could go vice versa. There's somebody, it feels like we have somebody here that is hiding, you know, they're hiding, okay? This is like, seriously, they're hiding, they're hiding that they're watching you or something like that. And somebody may need to protect themselves because there could be somebody that is hiding, somebody that is watching. This is like, uh, <laughs> somebody's hide. it could be like a spy or a stalker or something I'm, I mean I don't know if there is a stalker or not but I hope not anyhow um this person doesn't look happy see the fist 
somebody may not be happy about being rejected. So, hmm. Now, this guy is riding along, adapting, very flexible, uh, skilled, carefree, just having fun. <laughs> yeah, this guy is having fun. He is. Something about ships. So it could be a, just the ship here and the ship here. Get prepared. Get prepared for some sort of arrival. Somebody is... It's like, you know, I feel like this person, they, maybe they're driving by your house or you're driving by, by the, your, theirs. It's like driving down the road, just just to back and forth, back and forth. Somebody may be, you know, observing in that way. Um, get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival. Somebody is unaware that there is somebody watching them. There is somebody watching them. Something to do with a ship. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. This is about love. It's a new start in love. Somebody is going to try. They are going to try. It's like they're going to hope for the best. They are going to come in. They're real close, too. They're real close. They're going to come in with some sort of feelings. Okay? This is a new start in love. It could be a new love. Get prepared for love. Get prepared for emotional support or love or something like that. And this is big love. Look at that dove. It's like being showered with love. It is. So we have this painful life change that is permanent. Okay. Something has happened. It was drastic. It, but there was a reason. There was a purpose. Now it's time to reconnect. It's time to, you know, adapt to these changes and open yourself up. Your ship is about to arrive. The ship is, your ship is coming in and it's just about here. This is what you've been waiting for. This is the love, the emotional support, the, the love that you have been waiting for. What the hell is this? Now, that can also be a renewal in love, or it can be a reunion. So, if you're already in a relationship and there's been some sort of fight, this could be a renewal. It could be an apology. It could be, you know, things getting better, things looking up. Yeah, it may have hurt. There could have been a fight. But that tower reversed, that's usually a permanent loss that you never saw coming. You didn't, it happened fast. All of a sudden it was gone and now you have to adapt to these changes. It's like, boom, holy shit, that happened fast. So yeah, that sh thing that happened fast, you know, happened for a reason, obviously, because the Wheel of Fortune is right there. There was a purpose. There was a reason. It wasn't meant to last. It wasn't built to last. It wasn't meant to be forever. I'm sorry to say that. Now we have some sort of justice that is coming your way. Or maybe that was, well, karma plays in, in both ways, good or bad. But now you're about to get what you deserve. And it has to do with big love. Because the Ace of Cups is big love. Get prepared for some big love. Um, and you don't see it right now. I'm sure you don't see it. You may be, you know, focusing on that old relationship that's gone. Right? Yeah. Oh, of course, they always do that for me, don't they? Four of Cups, focusing on that old relationship that is gone. Oh, it happens always. So, yeah, that's somebody that is discontent, that is missing an opportunity for love because they're focusing on the relationship that broke their heart. You have somebody here that is heartbroken, has been heartbroken, but they have another love interest, another love 
interest. So somebody is watching them and they are interested and they are getting prepared to come forward. I feel like this person is has been watching them probably driving by their work or driving by them by their house or something like that or not communicating because they were fearful of rejection they know this person is guarded they know that the person that they are watching is guarded because they've been hurt by whoever the other person is so i feel like there's been a missed opportunity missed opportunity because of pain but now we have somebody that is about to uh strike something up i feel like it's like they're 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 about to uh light it up there's an exciting new opportunity here you know just we get 11 11 1 1 and 11 here 11 11 so it's like a soulmate connection we have an exciting new opportunity there's attraction and there's feelings and it's gonna grow fast okay so there could be a new sexual partner a new it doesn't have to be sexual but this is a new exciting opportunity where there's passion um, there's excitement and you are being called to just go for it. This could be a perfect match. Um, this is, a, this is, a the Ace of Cups represents heaven. It does a match made in heaven. Okay. So I do feel like there could be, you know, something coming into your life that you totally, totally, totally don't expect. All of a sudden it's, it's here. This person has been interested they have been interested and I feel like they've been they've been watching they've been trying to uh, get their shit together they've been trying to get themselves ready to to come forward with an offer they've been going back and forth with their with it you know they've been unsure probably because of fear of rejection because of the per they know your pain or they know the other person's pain you know but I think they're about to I think they are um, I think there is a high priestess here. This is a healer. This is a counselor. This is a tarot reader, medium, empath, somebody that is, is deep feeling, okay, has deep feelings, is very receptive. Um, this person is somehow um, involved in, in your life. Um, this person is very intuitive, uh, tends to to keep things to themselves keep to themselves um, not open up easily very spiritual very self-sufficient um, distant seems distant this person seems distant but this person is is observant right they, they're not distant but they are okay it's hard to explain with a high priestess she's uh experienced okay the high priestess priestess has learned to observe okay and in her uh, observance she um has learned that it's best to step back and, and and listen and wait wait for the approach wait for i mean she knows her value she doesn't have to be the empress she does know her value she doesn't need anybody her intuition guides her way she's very comfortable with who she is she, a lot of times a high priestess is single because she's intimidates people are scared of her they are definitely scared of her because she knows and it's easy to see that she knows you can't hide anything from the high priestess so she is intimidating so Anyway, this person is in your reading, whether it's you or it's the person that you're dealing with. This person is intimidating. So that's why they have not been approached because of their gifts. They're very gifted. This person is gifted. It's easy to see. So, um, but this person is also very loving. Some sort of counselor could be a life coach, something like that. Um, may teach may teach um something spiritual this could be a spiritual teacher um anyhow i feel like you should get prepared for something to arrive you didn't never see it coming you didn't this may shock you i know that you have been through something terrible i can see that you have that was very very painful but I do see a new fresh start in love that is going to excite you and it's going to make you very happy. Good luck. I mean, that's beautiful.